What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video today. We're going to talk about modules and which ones are the most important. So let's go take a look at what's available and then we're going to talk about each one. Then we'll go ahead and play a game with my favorite module setups on these robots here. So first off, we've got the brand new nuclear amplifier. So every time you deal some damage, this thing gives you more damage, up to 80% when you max it out. Even at level 1, you can get up to 40% more damage by running a nuclear amplifier. This is currently the best damage module in the game. And the cool thing is you really only need one of these. Like if you're running some of the other damage modules, you need to stack two or three of them on top of each other. So this allows you to get damage plus have your last stand and your armor kits or whatever. So this is a really cool module. Even at level 1, this is good. So if you have a level 1 nuclear amplifier, don't be afraid to check it out. If you got a level 6 one, man, it is awesome. Alright, next, we have the balance units, guys. Balance units are awesome. They give you damage and they give you armor. So that's really cool. It'll boost your hit points and the amount of damage your robot does. You cannot go wrong with these at all. One of the good things about leveling up modules is I know they're expensive to level up, but they can be moved from any robot. So you're leveling up something that can be put on any robot. It's movable damage, movable hit points, movable this, movable that, to where if you level up a robot, it only works for that bot and nothing else. You can't move it to something else. So leveling up modules is a really good idea, to tell you the truth. Next, we have the overdrive units. These are really cool. Um, a maxed out one will give you 25% more damage. Now, the only thing I don't like about these is you almost have to run two or three of them because they only kick in at a certain health percentage. And the more you have, you know, the, the different the percentages. So if you only have one, you got to lose something like 70% of your health before it kicks in. If you have two, it's probably like 60%. If you have three of them, they kick in at around probably around 80, 85% health. So you do have to lose some health before these kick in. And they, they work best when you're running two or three. That's the only thing I don't like about them. But they're very cool modules. Some people will run two of these in the nuclear amplifier and get up to like crazy huge damage. Next, we have our last stand. And this is one of the most important modules in the game to have on almost all robots. First off, in the higher leagues, if someone sees, hey, this robot doesn't have a last stand, they're probably going to shoot at you first and try and kill you because they think, oh, this one's going to be easier to kill than the other guys. Let's go get the guy without the last stand. So what last stand does is once you lose so much health, it kicks in and you're untargetable. They can't shoot you for five seconds when you max it out. All right. Actually, it's 4.5 seconds. I guess they changed it. It used to be 5, but now it's 4.5. Interesting. But you're invincible for 4.5 seconds, guys. It's huge deal. You know, you don't need them in the lower leagues, but once you get up to champion, you definitely want to do 5 last stands. All right, you want to have 5 of these. You, you really want to run one of these on pretty much every robot if possible except for your tanks your tanky robots can get by without the last stand but everything else run a last stand very important next we have the fortifier so if you're running a robot with an energy shield or a physical shield these things are amazing all right so they can give you 20 percent more energy shield hit points 20% faster regeneration on your energy shield and up to 25% more hit points on your physical shields. Now, they don't work with the purple shield or the reflector shields, but they do work with the, the yellow shields and they work with the blue shields. And the physical shields, like your, your shell has physical shields, your revenant has physical shields. It boosts all the shields. I mean, these things are cool. I love these for anything with the shield. Next, we have a cloaking unit. I don't use these very often, but the cloaking units are very cool. It's going to give you five seconds of stealth after you take so much damage. Those can come in handy on a lot of robots. There are certain robots where I really prefer these on. Like, for some reason, I love cloaking units on the behemoth. It just makes so he can't be targeted for five seconds at a time. If you run three of these, that's a total of 15 seconds where the enemies can't target you. I mean, that's pretty awesome if you think about it. Next, we have our heavy armor kits. I love these things on the tanks. All right, if you're running like a Fenrir, a T-Falcon, a Revenant, 
an invader heavy armor kits are, are the way to go um if it's like a more squishy or a regular robot i would go with the uh balance units over this but on the tanks definitely go for the heavy armor kits or if you happen to be running like a last stand a nuclear amplifier and then you have one more slot open maybe the heavy armor kit all right usually people who run heavy armor kits run at least two of these in the last stand but if you're changing up for one damage module it's not bad to have the last stand the nuclear amplifier and one heavy armor just because that gives you just a little bit more hit points than the uh, balance unit so we've got the stock nuclear reactor modules they're okay guys don't be afraid to level up the stock modules at first they're cheap and they're effective you know they're nice to have guys a lot of people say oh these are junk and they never level them up but you know what i had uh i had armor kits i had the regular armor kits not the heavies but i had the regular armor kits and i had them all upgraded for every robot and that gave me a lot of extra durability i don't really like the nuclear amplifier as much as i like the regular armor kit which is the basic one that your robots come with they're cheap to upgrade, they're cheap to use, they're really good. We'll get to that one in a second, but these are okay. They'll add a little bit of damage. Not a bad module, but not a great module. Now we got the thermonuclear reactors. These just add a little bit of damage. It's kind of like an upgraded version of the nuclear reactor. These are okay. Okay, at one time these things were awesome, but there's so many better modules out there now than these. I wouldn't really I wouldn't really upgrade one of these honestly that's a lot of silver to upgrade this and it's just kind of so so at the moment next we have the regular armor kit okay these are really cheap to upgrade for modules and they're cheap to buy okay if you don't have any of the premium modules which are very expensive to upgrade I say upgrade you know three of these for each one of your robots why not it's not that expensive and it's a giant help We've got the nitro units next, right? These things add speed to your robot. Honestly, I'm not loving these. The extra speed is nice, but after you after you lose like 30% of your health or something along the lines of that, these stop working and you no longer get the speed out of it. So personally, I don't prefer the nitro units for that reason. Next, we have our anti-controls. All right, so if you can run three of these, you're permanently immune to being locked, suppressed, or anything else. And that's really cool. Now, if you run one, even at level one, I've got mine at level one, and that's how I run them. Even at level one, they'll keep you from being locked down and suppressed for, for a little bit. It's really a big help, especially on something like your Fafner, your faster little robots, your beacon runners. Anti-control is cool. Normally, I would run one of these on my robots where I'm like, I don't want this robot to get locked down. This robot needs to get where it's going as quickly as possible. So anti-control is a great, a really nice module overall. Next, we have the Battleborn. So Battleborn is kind of interesting. Um, the only thing I would run the Battleborn on currently, I run it on my shell. Normally, I don't run it on any robot except for my beacon runners. Um, if I'm trying to get to a beacon, when you get to the beacon and somebody shoots you for the first time, this kicks in. And you've got a bunch of defense points for 20 seconds. That's a long time. That is a long time to have a whole bunch of defense points. So Battleborn's great for your beacon runners. And I really like it on the shell as well. No other robots. You know, if I'm not running for beacons and it's not a shell, I don't put it on there. But these can be a really big help on the right robot. All right, so I think we went over all of the modules um, for, for example, my Orochi, I've got the last stand. He needs this. We got the nuclear amplifier to make him do more damage. And we got the heavy armor kit. Now, if I didn't have the nuclear amplifier, I would probably be running two balance units because that's awesome. But since I have this damage one, I want a little more hit points out of the heavy armor kit. Next, we got my Fafner, right? We got the nuclear amplifier. We got the anti-control. I don't want this guy to get locked down. So I'm going to put an anti-control, a nuclear amplifier for the damage in a last stand. So after he runs out of health, he's got an additional, I guess that's four and a half seconds now of, you know, being invincible. Big deal, actually. Next, we're going to have this guy here. We're going to run two heavy. Normally, I would run three heavy armors on this guy because he's a tank. 
but we're trying out two heavies and a nuclear amplifier just to see how it works out on this guy. So far, I think I like the uh, so far I think I like the three armor kits better. I I think I prefer the hit points over the damage on this particular robot. All right, on our shell, we got a Fortifier, which makes her shield stronger. We got a Battleborn, so the first time he gets hit, he's unbelievably tough. And we got a Last Stand. That's a really cool setup on the shell, to tell you the truth. Um, if you don't have the Battleborn, you know, you could run two Fortifiers in the Last Stand, or two Armor Kits in the Last Stand, or a Fortifier, Armor Kit, and Last Stand. Those are the kind of setups I would run on something like this. All right, next, we got an invader set up. We're running two heavies and a nuclear amplifier. I really like that setup. Um, my nuclear amplifier on here is only level one right now, but that will give me up to 40% more damage when this thing charges up completely. So this is a really cool setup. I like it a lot. Um, really good stuff. These modules are really nice, guys. So let's go ahead and play one game with the modules installed just so you can see some of the stuff in action. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with our Fafner, and we're going to try and get to the beacon as fast as possible. Now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to run a Battleborn on this. That way, when I get to the beacon and I land on the beacon, that guy just messed me up, man. Normally, I can fr fly right into this, but that guy bumped me, and I didn't get to go as high as normal. So, I guess we're going to have to land and then walk inside. But if I had the Battleborn, the second I got shot, I would have a whole bunch of extra defense points for the next 20 seconds to help me stay alive for a long time. Now, Fafner does have a really nice amount of hit points when he's on the ground. He's got great damage resistance as it is when he lands. Now, if you go up in the air, you lose all that damage resistance and your robot's a lot more squishy. All right, so right now, we're going to go ahead and go up in the air just to get the shield out. Let's stomp this little guy. He's going to retreat. We got him down to his last stand. So hopefully when the last stand wears off, yeah, we can just torch him. So let's go ahead and land again. When you play this guy, you want to try and get hit when you go up in the air because that charges his shield up. All right, when people shoot this guy's shield, it makes him do more damage. Right now I got, you can see over on the left-hand side of the screen under the Titan bar, you can see I've got a total of 19% more damage from that nuclear amplifier. And as I keep damaging more enemies, that's going to go up higher and get up to 80% eventually. And then I'm just going to torch everybody at that point. So let's go over here and help my teammate. Someone's shooting me, so I'm going to get up in the air. Alright, that one's got a shield. I don't want to get shot by that. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here. Oh man, I just get hit by a couple of shells. I'm going to hit that healing module right now. I'm hung up on the roof. That's not good. They don't call me Danny get stuck on everything lightning for nothing, right? Let's go ahead and bring on a Rochi. A Rochi is a really fun robot. We got longer range weapons, so we can just come back and be like, pop, 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 see ya. And we're going to save this guy's, this guy's ability until we actually need someone shooting me, so it's time to use it, right? Let's shoot some rockets off into the crowd. See if we can do a little damage over there. We got a hawk landing. We want to take out this hawk. Dice. I'm going to hit that orbital strike so I can get a shield and some extra hit points now. I got the uh, Mantis. That's my favorite ship out of all the mother ships, I think. I'm going to go ahead and hit that healing module to get more damage. All right, the way I got my drone set up, every time I hit the healing module, I get damage and defense points. And that's huge, guys. That's huge. It's such a big help. I think it lasts for, it's either 8 or 10 seconds every time you hit the healing module. You get a bunch of extra hit points and damage. And that's amazing. We got a Loki over there. Let's try and get this guy. Alright, we killed him. That Loki, I'm, I should be able to hit him. I mean, I think our weapons are right at the perfect level. That looks like it's hitting him. I hope it's hitting him. I can't really tell. It wasn't. There's a problem with the Lokis. I mean, I don't really understand why those direct look those are direct hits they're blowing up on the front of him and he's not taking any damage it doesn't make sense all right he killed me let's go ahead and bring in the revenant let's get a little closer i want to take that loki out i want to take that loki out as soon as those guys go out of stealth i'm gonna go ahead and teleport in there so they can't steal our beacon that's my beacon man Ooh, we torched that one quick 
We're gonna hit that that little healing unit deal. Not healing unit. We're gonna hit that mothership. Get ourselves a nice shield. Here comes some people trying to get me. The game's starting to lag a little bit. That happens from time to time. All right, come on, reload, flame flamethrowers, reload. Oh gosh, these guys are doing some damage. We're gonna hit the ability in three seconds. We're gonna hit the healing again. All right, so there's our healing. That should give us a lot of nice hit points and extra damage. Keep us alive a little longer. Let's trash that Loki. We finally got him. All right, flamethrowers versus Fafnir is a problem. That's the one reason I'm not really loving the flamethrowers so much anymore is you can't really hit a Fafnir with flamethrowers. Besides that, they're awesome. But as soon as you run into a, a flamethrower, I mean a Fafnir, those flamethrowers are worthless. Alrighty, let's go ahead and run this way. Currently our team is winning. We're doing a really good job on this battle. So what I'm gonna do is find some enemies. There's an enemy Titan over there. Do I wanna... Mm, something says, hey, go fight that Titan. Actually, we might wanna fight this one instead. He's close. No, he's got the thing. I'm gonna hit the healing module. Oh God, he's trying to steal our beacon. All right, he's gonna be out of ability here in a second. There we go, his shield's done. Let's try and stomp on this guy. He got the beacon crap. All right, he's, here comes his ability again. As long as he doesn't have that shield though, this robot is really squishy and not too hard to pick. Oh, he's got the shield. All right, I'm gonna run over here for a minute. Eh. I'm gonna hit my healing. All right, let's take him out. There we go, we finished him off. I'm gonna go ahead and use the mothership to get, get another shield. So there we got a permanent shield that's gonna gonna last for 110,000 hit points. Let's go ahead and run over this way. Get this beacon back. He's a little too, oh gosh, no, no. Stop it, stop it. All right, we're getting this beacon. That's what's important. We got four beacons. Our team's kicking some butt. All right, here we go. Probably shouldn't do this. I'm probably gonna die. Here comes the healing module, but we're gonna try and beat these guys up the best we can before they kill me, All right? I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my invader. The invader is awesome. I think the invader with the sonic weapons is amazing, especially when you run one of those when one of those nuclear amplifiers on there. It does so good, it's not even funny. I didn't really expect to like this build at all, but I love it. It's such a good build. All right, let's go ahead and go after these guys. We're gonna go ahead and jump in and see if we can take this. Oh, someone got him. Oh, the battle ended. Cool, cool, we won. That was a fun game. I love this hangar, guys. I love these setups. They're so much fun to play. Only had 2.6 million damage, but we did have 7 kills and 3 beacons. Alright, came in first over there. Our team kicked some butts. And yeah, good games, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my take on all these modules, and you guys have a great day, alright? See ya. Later. Lightning out.